Hey everyone, hello and welcome. Now, only a few days ago, uh, I mentioned that the new Leinster home jersey and training range are probably going to be out very soon. Well, guess what? Leinster released it this morning and it is on Lifestyle Sports now. You can pre-order or buy most of it. So I thought we'd go on and review it and see what it is. Now, I've had a sneak peek at this before because uh, I kind of vaguely know what I want to say but most of it is reaction based I'm gonna give my opinion you don't have to agree with it um, but do let me know in the comments what you think and also let me know about what the what the, the thing of the prices uh, that was no English there anyway let's get to it so we'll scroll down and now you can find the new Leinster rugby range there's no away jersey is the only thing and we haven't got a date for when that's gonna be announced so um yeah when it comes out I won't make a video on it it's just not worth it so if we scroll down, we can see the new Leinster Rugby range. The player fit jersey is 110, as you can see. The regular jersey, which 99.5% of the people uh, are going to buy, is 80 euro. So it's the same as last year. So no inflation there. Um, I have to say, I'm not entirely sold on it yet. Um, for the first time since Adidas and Leinster joined forces, we have not had yellow on a home jersey, ever. Leinster's uh, colours are blue, white and yellow slash gold. So this is the first time we've had yellow or gold on, an, on a, a home Leinster jersey, which is great. I'm really, I'm all for that. However, the way they've done it, I'm just not quite sure about yet. It just... <sighs> I'm just not sure. There is, though, a, the very nice pattern, as you can see, interwoven into the jersey with all the... I'm sure we're going to get a description of it in a second. I have to say that the detail of it is very, very nice. Let's go and see... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Technology comfort. Complete with Leinster badge performance fit and all that so it doesn't it doesn't really give us much of a description of the actual jersey itself and what inspired it uh, kind of what they would have done last time uh, but I do have to say it is a very nice it's a nice looking jersey it's just the way they've integrated the yellow or not integrated as uh, as I think it just leaves a little bit to be desired to be entirely honest. This is the 8 euro one, so this is what uh, most people are going to buy. It's fine. It's fine. There's excess, which is fine. Uh, now, let's just look at this for a second. Oh, maybe it is embroidered. The stars aren't. I know that. Leinster and Adidas have said that there's embroidery on this jersey. I can't, being honest, see it all that much. And that Adidas certainly doesn't look embroidered. Um, yeah. Not entirely sure. I'm sure it's going to grow on me. And I'm sure when I see it in store, I'm probably going to buy it. 80 euro is a bit much, but look. Such is life. Um, the shorts are nothing special. It's literally just white. And I'm pretty sure we've used those socks before anyway. Uh, 40 euro for, for shorts, absolutely no way. Um, so that's your, your home kit. Now, we do not have a an away kit yet, but we do... Oh, lifestyle Sports and their websites. Let's let it fully load first. Come on. Come on, let it fully load. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Now, I'm not going to bother looking at the pre-school kits and all that. They're about the same. Now, if this was our away jersey... I would be rushing out to Last Sports right now to buy it. The fact that it's our player training jersey and it costs 110 quid, I might get a bit, a bit of a miss. But, lads, what a jersey. Now, that, that does look embroidered there. We'll have to go in store <laughs> and see. But uh, I have to say, this, this jersey is top notch. One of the nicest jerseys, I think, that Leinster have ever released along with adidas nice pattern as well on it i love it i really do love it um phase out all version polyester by 2024 well there you go it's all it's all uh 
It's all helping the turtles, lads. There you go. I have to say, if that was our away jersey, I would love that. It isn't, it's only our uh, training jersey, so you will see that in all of the warm-ups. Now, those four images on the screen right now kind of sum up what I think of this. Um, on the one hand, there's some very nice training stuff, and on the other hand, there's some quite horrific looking uh, stuff. I'm gonna say now, I really like the grey with the turquoise accents. I don't like the all turquoise uh, stuff, I'm gonna say that now, and I, I'm pretty sure I'm, that speaks for the majority of the people. I really like this though, really like this. Look at the, the kind of tapering of the sides there. This is one of the nicest training tops we've had. I liked last year's, I didn't buy it last year, um, but yeah. This is nice. Uh, again, I want to go in store and see it, but uh, I like the, the kind of slanted Bank of Ireland and the, the fact that the stripes come down a little bit more. Really, really nice touch. I like it. Really do like a half sip design. For me, I don't know why that's always classed as a half sip. It's a quarter zip, surely, because it only goes a quarter way down. I don't know. Anyway, or maybe, no, no, it still doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, um, we have our two performance t-shirts here. The, I'm going to look at the turquoise one and for those because I know people are going to be interested in this. Personally, I don't like this. I, I'm not a fan of this. Um, it's not that it looks terrible, it's just... I just don't think turquoise is a very good colour. And mint. I think it's mint. Some, some people say it's Adidas. Or not Adidas. Uh, uh, whatever. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest, and I, I always love singlets, I lo it's my thing, I'm wearing one right now, actually, or tank tops, as they're called, uh, I'm not buying that, though, definitely not buying that, um, no, no, it's not for me, if turquoise is your colour, then you're gonna love this range this year, if turquoise isn't your colour, uh, you're gonna save an awful lot of money, so go spend it on me. Go go buy some subs for me or something. I don't know. Um, we do have our training shorts, which uh, aren't anything entirely special. I'll be honest. They don't look... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit hit and miss this year, I'm not going to lie. Last year I liked almost everything. Not so much this year. Um, one thing I really like, though, are the training pants for this year. Big fan of these. Um, especially the fact that Adidas is above the knee this time. And, again, I'm going to have to see when we get in. I think those stripes are either fabric or they're interwoven into the material of the actual top. If that is the case, very well done, Adidas. You've listened to the Leinster fanbase twice! Because we said, if, if you spent if you spend 0.1 seconds on the Leinster Facebook page, um, everything, always we just say, we just want something embroidered, and we just want things that last, because none of our Adidas kits and, and stuff last. We still buy them. Well, so, actually, some of us don't. We've, we've just stopped buying. Um, but that tracksuit was very nice. The fact that it costs a combined, what, 120 euro? Not as nice. Not as nice, but uh, yeah, I'm actually a very big fan of, of and I like the the kind of pattern on the sides that we had this year as well, the kind of hexag hexagonal uh, bits. I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Yeah, I think that's... Yeah, that's material. That's interwoven. I have tracksuits like that. Uh, I bought in France a few years ago. Yeah, I'm I'm a big fan of, of our training pants this year. Am I going to buy it? Probably not. Because I don't think I don't think turquoise matches with many many colours, um, but uh, yeah, I have to say the crew neck as well. I like crew necks. I I kind of wish I bought last year's one, but uh, big fan. I like crew necks. Uh, is this? Let's look at the material. Yeah, that doesn't look like it's print. That looks like it's part of the, the fabric as well, which is very good. It means it lasts. That's all we want. That's all we want. As long as we buy something that lasts more than a season, or half a season, as uh, my poor European jersey came to, to, to realise. Uh, yeah. We're happy. 
the hoodie hoodie looks like a bit oversized to me but uh i i do kind of like tight fitting stuff but again it's nice it's nice enough uh one thing i have spotted and i didn't see this the first time i had a look at all the kit if we just go down here is the cap i like this cap i think i want to buy that yeah i really like that look at this Yeah, I really like that cap. I think a lot of the fact that a lot of people are buying that cap kind of shows that that's nice. Um, you have the kids hoodie, and then you get into last year's stuff, which they're all trying to sell off. And that's it for the moment. That is all of the current Leinster training range and home kit. My predictions for away jerseys. Um, I don't think it's going to be turquoise. The fact that we have a turquoise training top suggests to me we're not going to have uh, a turquoise away jersey so i'm going to predict well, i want an, i want an all white jersey i love white kits for some reason so i really want a leinster i think the last time we had a white leinster jersey was i'm not counting the canterbury one in 2017 that was that was awful a, a proper nice one was canterbury 20 the 13 14 season i think was the last time we had a nice white kit uh, so i want that I want a full white Adidas lens jersey, please. I'm never going to wear it to training, and I'm probably not going to put it in the wash because my water here is horrific, but I want one. <laughs> but knowing Adidas, we're probably not going to get it. So, I have a sneaking suspicion the fact that Leinster have finally used yellow on our Leinster kit, I think they're going to get carried away. I think they're working on a full yellow away jersey. Which, if they do it right, is going to be one of the greatest Leinster kits of all time. If they do it wrong, no one's going to buy it. No one. Not even the most devoted Leinster fan is going to go out and buy an all-yellow kit. And all of the away kits that we've had with, uh, with Adidas have been utterly, utterly shocking. We had a kind of mud jersey as our first one. Then we had a maroon one, and now we've had a turtle one for the last two years. Turtle kind of colour looks awful. So I can kind of see... Uh, hmm. I can see them doing a yellow one, but I want a white one. I do want a white one. Uh, I don't think... I just don't think they're going to have... It. I don't think it's going to be like this. I just don't... The fact that that's already a top suggests to me we're not going to have any any turquoise on, on our on our white jersey which i'm completely fine with anyways guys that's where we're going to wrap it up thank you all so much for watching let me know what you think uh let me know what you think of what is there anything that catches your eye like maybe this half sip big fan of that actually it looks really nice um they tend to bring a few more things out like jackets no rain jackets actually no rain jackets so they tend to bring a jackets and hybrid tops and uh, they, I don't know, they might bring a new hat or two out maybe. Um, they tend to do that up to Christmas, so they'll, they'll keep drip feeding stuff now between, between now and maybe November. Um, so if, yeah, let me know, let me know if anything catches your eye. And what do you think of the turquoise? I think, it, I think that's nice. I like this. I really like this. Um, yeah big fan so go buy it it's all available now it's probably going to be in store in a few days or it might be out already but knowing that lifestyle it probably isn't uh so that's where we're gonna wrap it up guys thank you all so much for watching and we will see you in the next one consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed today's video but that's it so take care and goodbye